What's up guys, I'm here on a solo adventure today to try to catch some bass so I can actually eat them, catch and cook. I am in my one of my favorite spots right now in the back of me. On these woods, there is a nice little creek. And right here, I've got a blow up kayak. Then I'm gonna blow up, take it down there, try to catch some fish. I've got two poles and a tiny little ice chest. I'm gonna try to get a fish in. Let's go. Okay, just carrying the raft. It just rained not too long ago, so this should be pretty deep as we go down to be able to put the raft in. Oh yeah, it just became summer here, so it's all overgrown. Vegetation's getting high, snakes are getting all over the place in here. This is what I'm talking about. You don't need a lot to have a good time on a day off and go explore wherever you live. I live in a boring place. People say, sucks to live in mi the Midwest. But if you get out and you go find something, I promise you, you will have a great adventure and it's not that far from your house. Just get outside and have a good time. Oh yeah, there's the deeper part right there. Look how beautiful this is. It's freaking, not just talking about guys. Snakes are going wild down here right now at this time of year. Look at that, that's a snake skin right there. Shedding off, right there. So there are snakes, hoping for some fish today, hopefully some bass. My mother-in-law is in town and she cooks some great fish. And if I bring her some fresh fish, boy, I'm gonna have the dinner of a lifetime. Absolutely. All right, let's get in here. Start fishing, man, that's a good spot right there. I got a cast. I'm gonna put my stuff down and get ready. And this is a sweet little raft I got. It's like 50 bucks, it has its own little pole holder and everything. Perfect for stuff like this. Chest right here, the lice chest. I'm gonna put the drinks in there until I catch some fish and then I'll put the drinks out and put the fish in. My snacks, my two tackle boxes. I'm ready to go. My paddle, let's go catch some fish. So because it's summer, the water is pretty warm. All these shaded areas right here, you wanna cast under these trees, these shaded areas. That stick, I'm about to make a cast over there but I wanna make sure I hit all these shaded areas because the water's so hot, that's the coolest part because it's not very deep. This water's probably only three, four, maybe five feet deep. So they've gotta be hiding under cover. There's no other way for them to be there except for under cover. A fish, feels like a good one too. Oh, it's stuck under the, under the boat. Oh, it's a bass. That's a good bass too, that's an eating bass. Yes! We got one. Switched up the bait, immediately got a bass. Oh, look at that. That's a good bass too. That's a really good bass. That's, oh, I got a scale on the back right there. I think that's probably, that's a keeper. Oh, that's a nice bass. Heck yeah, dude. Switched up the bait and immediately got him. Oh yeah. And she says it's good enough to cook, then I'll, I'll bring it. I'll try to catch some more though. I'll try to catch some more. Okay. All right, I'm gonna go back to. Okay. Okay. That was my mother-in-law, my my wife. I was asking if that bass is big enough. Last time I caught bass that were under like, I'd say they were under 18 inches. I threw them back, and she said, "No, no, I can cook those. Those are good size." I think this one's probably like 14 inches, 15 inches. So I'll probably keep this one. It's so on the, the lip bait I had, this bait right here, this trout magnet in these creeks will catch anything, bass, catfish, green fish, sunfish, any kind of fish. I have caught everything on this thing right here. It does not fail me, I'll tell you that right now. I'm excited, man, I've only been here for like five minutes. Let's see if I can get some more. Cause the small one is, oh yeah, I'm hit, got him. That's a smaller fish. Yeah, that's a green fish. There it is, see? See the vast difference? You won't limit yourself to what you can catch because I just caught this right here and also this right here on the same bait. The same thing. Oh, I'm on something. Oh, I'm on something. That's a small bass. It's a small bass. I can tell by the way it's fighting. Oh, it's a catfish. 
Oh, see guys, this is what I'm talking about, man. This is what I'm talking about. That is a bullhead right there. I just caught a bass, a decent sized bass, not a huge one by any means, decent sized bass, a green fish, and a catfish on the same lure. I'm telling you guys, if you have one lure in your tackle box and you're going to a creek, it is these trout magnets right here. Oh, heck yeah. Oh my gosh. God, how good is this, man? I'm out here just freaking having a great time. I would have a great time if I caught nothing, but I've already, I've only been here for like 10 minutes and already caught like three or four fish. So this is gonna be a good day, I can tell. It would have been a good day if I caught nothing though. I mean, just for the experience, the opportunity to be out here, to experience something most people never will take the time to do or see. Most people don't even know this place exists. That was a green fish, I think. Yep, that's a green fish. Oh yeah. Beautiful turquoise colors right here, spotted throughout, and they fight super hard. They also have bigger mouths than most perch like that. And they can get pretty big monster green fish right here it's a good size i mean it's not a monster but it's definitely bigger than the ones we've been catching and this is a good size green fish you don't always catch them this size see but they have mouse Ooh. oh god oh god okay all right buddy all right they have mouse really similar to bass where they open up have the same structure same lips same everything as bass up here and they get a little bit bigger than most perch but that's a pretty good size one that one's probably seven inches Maybe eight inches. Or maybe, oh, got something out of there. It's a green fish. They need to be a little bit bigger. I'd say probably like nine, 10 inches is worth eating a green fish. But they are delicious. They're really good fish. There we go. That's a good cast. Got something. Oh, it's a bass. No, it's, oh, it's a big green fish. That's a keeper. That's a keeper. That's a good green fish. That's a keeper green fish right there. Heck yeah. Put that in. Oh yeah. That's above 10 inches. This is a 10 inch scale here. That's, no, no. Oh my God, you guys just saw me do that. Oh my God, I'm an idiot. Oh, that was a keeper and an eater, man. God dang it. This is one of the most beautiful little perch I've ever seen. Look at this thing. Looks like a freaking ocean fish. Whoop. And there they go. That was green fish, not a keeper though. A little small. Oh, it's a green fish. He's almost, almost the size we need. That one we lost was the size we needed. About five of those. Big things in here. Look at that. Let's go explore. Right here. That's, I'm pretty sure those are deer tracks or a hooved animal. I don't know what else a hooved animal would be around here. Super cool. Oh, there's fish right there. I see them. That might be a bass. Oh, that'd be a small bass. I get the kayak back out. I head down that way and find out what's down there. I probably will not have enough battery life in the GoPro to go all the way down and come back. Or I can just start going back right now and just record that. I think I'm going down there regardless because I want to see what's down there. Okay, we've made it back. 10% battery left in the GoPro. There's the kayak back there. We're gonna head up here, grab the kayak and head down that way and find out what new adventures lays for us down there. What kind of fish we can catch. Here's the sad news. I'm almost positive there'll be some kind of slow leak inside the kayak. Look, it's getting pretty low, but we're gonna risk it. To a new adventure. I've never seen this side down here. Here we go. Off. Oh, it's another catfish. Look at that. It's another catfish. Oh my gosh, this little area is full of these little catfish. I mean, look at that, tons of them. They're just chilling down there. Barely hooked them. Wow. So here's where I entered, right here. We've gone around all down here. That's where I've caught my first bass ever in this pond. I'm right here. I've still got 
that little bend around and right there to finish. I want to see what that is. Walking through, we got to take this through, see if there's some deeper parts up here. But so far, this section of this creek is not very deep at all. Right here, I've just been dragging this down this shallow part, but this, this looks like finally some relief. Looks like a good little spot. I'm just gonna drop the kayak and walk up here and cast. Oh, it's hot. Same depth, it's not very deep, and the highway's right there where it ends, so I'm about to head back, see if I can get some deeper, uh, deeper fish, some big bass. Hello, see it, rocks nowhere to go the bigger fish just aren't gonna be sitting in here it's all gonna be little bait fish but I'm gonna continue it up to the highway there it is this is the end of the road but good adventure though cool place at least I got to see it Woo. yes we got another keeper green fish there it is tiny bit deeper spot right here we caught one this one's not nearly as big as the other one but it's still Nah, actually probably not. He looked bigger in the water. Can't keep him. Dang. It ends up headed back to the kayak and then go back to the deeper water where the bass are. Minute, if I catch a fish, I'll use my phone. Okay, so the GoPro battery is toast, it's dead. But I got us back to the deeper part, walked through that part, and now I'm gonna throw slightly bigger lure. Not too much bigger, but just a little bit bigger lure, try to target just bass on the way back, see if I can get a couple more for dinner. Been a great adventure though, man. Back there was not any good for fishing, but it's an adventure. At least you go back there and you see what's back there. Explore, let's have some fun. All right guys, my boat is almost completely deflated. So I got out my pole, my GoPro is dead, everything's done. And I threw out a pole right out here, right as I'm about to leave. I convinced myself I was gonna leave. I caught another keeper bass. Couldn't be more thrilled, look at that. On the spinner. Okay guys, what an adventure, I fell. I wish I would've got on a camera, somebody would've, I fell on those rocks over there pretty hard. Jacob would be laughing at me, I'll tell you that right now. I'd laugh at him every time he does it. I fell hard. Uh, but it was a good adventure, great day. Right before I was about to leave, I got another bass. So I got this bass the very first, we got eating, and then I got this bass right here just now. So we have two bass to cook up and to eat. Um, good sized bass for the creek. The creek, they never get that, that big. I had, we, John has caught a wiper out of here before though that was four or five pounds. So I was hoping to get one of those. It didn't, but I did get some fish and had a great adventure, guys. I encourage you to get out of the house, have an adventure, even if it's 30, 40 minutes, find somewhere near your house you can go explore and still be a kid. Go out and explore, man. Life is worth the adventure. Have a great day. Tune in for the next episode.